Hey guys, I'm Matt. I'm Adam. And welcome to Behind the Box. Hey guys, and welcome to Behind the Box. This month we're here with our Strange Box. <laughs> September was strange. Yes. So we teased some things, we some did. really awesome things. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And as we've talked about it before, Stranger Things was one of those things. But we'll get to that in a little bit here. Yep, so yep, yep, yep. let's uh, open up the Strange Box and show you what's, uh, what's a little, little, little different this month. A couple changes. So a couple changes, yeah. Can, well, I, uh, can, I, can I just throw out some of the, yeah, just some of the things that happened? So, uh, last month, one of the things that you probably saw on our Facebook page, and I think we maybe even said something in the community, I, I can't quite remember, but one of the things that we talked about was we put a, a basically a feedback form. There was a lot of, uh, it, it seemed like the, the crazy box had people who loved it and didn't love it. So we wanted to hear your feedback. Again, the criticism is really good when it actually can come to a point where it can affect change. And that's something that's really important to us here. So we wanted to hear you. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we put that form out and we kind of compiled everything. There's a lot of stuff that came in. Uh, and, and there were certain changes that we made in this box. I mean, we went right to it. We're going to change this, we're going to change this, and we're going to change this because we heard you guys. Those were kind of the overwhelming things. International shipping uh, was one of them, uh, which we'll get into. Uh, also, one of the other things was the, the actual spoiler card that we had. It was, felt very confusing. People thought, I thought I was supposed to get this item. I didn't get this item. So people were asking. Uh, you know, I, I just I, we had a lot of customer uh, um, support tickets that were coming in. Was I supposed to get it? So that was confusing. We knew that. And then the other one that we've heard a lot and it also came through a lot on this uh, uh, feedback forum was also the pins. That the variant pin that you were getting, the number variant pin. A lot of people said I got it. It was a one up, but I, I really like the color one. I really wish I would have got the color one. So. We made some changes. Definitely made some changes. Yeah. And we're gonna show you those right now. They're actually yep. on top here. So, of course, when you first crack open your band box, you're gonna have your pins. Woo! But we're actually gonna talk about this book first. So yes. Normally here, we uh, we tuck everything away, but we're gonna show you what's going on with this book. Yes, so the spoiler booklet. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, <laughs> it was really funny, yeah. the, 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 the fact that the word, if you would have seen how much time was spent on the word booklet, booklet. versus versus book. Mm -hmm. I mean, we were, we were like, we had, it, it, it was, oh yeah, it was a big thing in the office. And, and we got, you know, Wikipedia articles up and, and trying to find, anyway, so we it, it, apparently booklet is the correct term. So we went with the spoiler book, booklet, wanted to make sure that it was on top so when people saw it, mm -hmm. they wouldn't just open it up and start looking through it. Exactly. But the, the, the point of this was to be able to take a lot of the handouts that we were getting, you can see there on the back, uh, we have the, the straight out of band box, that, that handout that's been in there, the one up key, there were so many handouts that we felt from you guys, what we heard were confusing, and also just how everything was placed. Was I supposed to get this? Was I not supposed to get this? Mm -hmm. So we compiled all of that into the spoiler booklet and tried to make it as clear as possible. And from what we've heard feedback already from you guys, it was a big like, oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes. So it's just an organized version of everything that has yep. been in the box previously yep. and a nice little booklet. Yes. And a booklet. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so it's pretty cool, all the spoilers in here. We're not gonna go through this, nope, but nope, nope. definitely read through it if you guys have one. Yeah. It explains everything. Absolutely. So first items in the box, of course, are our pins. Yes. And these pins are badass. Yeah, I know, I They're know, so I know. Cool. Phil Guy, AKA Burrito Brett, mm -hmm. this guy is incredible. He does a ton of pin design already. Uh, somebody that I've had on my radar, you and I are like just totally into pins. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean, they already know, but because we've already spoiled it, but dude, I, I don't even know if we've really talked about it. Butch Vision doing Butch the Vision. pins next month, Butch dude. Butch Vision oh. is one of the best. He is, he sure. is. And he's actually coming through here. We're, we're oh, trying to so figure sick. out if we can, you and I can jump on and do some sort of Facebook Live or video with him. So Sweet. anyway, that, that, that's just a little, little, little bit for, for next little, month. Little Caesar, little Caesar. But, uh, Phil Guy just knocked it out of the park with the Beetlejuice oh, pins. And we, we, we knew that we wanted to do at least Beetlejuice and Lydia. Oh, dude, we Lydia had, we had, sure. we had to, We had to do them. Mm -hmm. And then it was back and forth on what the third character would be. There's a lot of different characters that had already been done. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, listen, man, Harry the Hunter is, is like one of my personal faves. Oh, he's so cool. He's just so, so cool. And so, and we asked Phil and he's like, oh, I think that one will be awesome. So, another one of the changes this mm -hmm. month. A lot of people won't know this because they didn't get it. One of the other things that we heard a lot about uh, on that form that you guys filled out was, again, this frustration with, 
I got the pin. I understand that it's limited edition and it's cool, but I really love the, the color, color version yeah. of it. So from this point forward, we want to continue to do the limited edition pins, which we actually changed the color up this month, and we'll just do things like that because it's just fun. Yeah. The silver felt that it fit way better with silver looks juice, really cool. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, if you get the variant pin, you will also get the color version from here on out. You will actually get two pins. So if you, I don't know if you've seen any of it, some of the unboxing videos or a couple of people who got them uh, that are out there. If you got the Harry the Hunter pin, mm -hmm. you got both pins, and that will be the case moving forward. So you don't have to worry about oh, I got the one up, so I didn't get the uh, the, the color version that I wanted. So we'll do the we'll do the color versions, mm -hmm. and then the variant and the color version will go together. And Harry the Hunter came out just. I mean, awesome. it looks super cool, and that's yeah. actually really awesome for pin collectors because yeah. you're getting two pins. Yep. And I personally like color versions more. I like yeah. I like the variants, they're cool, but color for me is the way to go. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yep, so now from here on out, that is a big change that we heard you guys, and I want you to know that we are listening. We are a company who has the ability to make the changes, who wants to listen, who wants to make these changes, and, and that's something that, again, like I've said, as long as I'm still steering this thing, that is going to be the case. We will listen to you and and be able to make these positive changes that, uh, that we think are uh, just really helped tremendously help out the box so Phil Guy knocked it out of the park and, and all the information we'll have below mm -hmm. and also uh, make sure that that's uploaded to uh, to everywhere that you guys need to see so you guys can get his links and go check out his stuff for sure. Alright guys let's open up the band box and show you what the next item is. Don't peek. Alright so this first one is pretty sweet. Yes. Um, the dream is real. Yeah. The dream is real. It's a little little magical tin but it's a cool tin but when you open it up Guess what? Foam. Foam. That's what you guys got. Foam. No, actually inside, if you love dreams and you love films, you yes. should know what we're talking about. Yes. And that's actually going to be these. Oh. Um, these are totems, of course, from yep. the amazing movie Inception. Inception. Yeah. So, I mean, these are just so rad. It is. And this is what's great that I love about this. This thing's, it, we wanted to make sure that this wasn't like, uh, like the, especially the spinning top wasn't just a little plastic, you know, mm -hmm. piece that it actually was weighted. Oh, it's a, it's a metal I, top. I, I'm, I'm up to two minutes and two seconds, I think, is, my, is my own personal record. Um, and the thing, because it just is self balancing, so that thing it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. But, um, Love this movie. I mean, th this was the movie that we're all waiting for. Christopher Nolan, after he does the Batman trilogy, we're all wondering what's he going to do. Mm -hmm. And I, I've actually, I will say this, I am shocked at how many people have not seen Inception. Which is crazy. Crazy. Like, uh, like legitimately, if you have not seen the movie, mm -hmm. you need to see the movie. It's an excellent movie. An incredible movie. I, I don't buy movies much anymore because oh, yeah. I put them all on you know, Apple TV and all that kind of I stuff. Just stream them. Yeah. I, I went out and bought it. Oh yeah, I, I felt like I needed, I needed a physical copy of this Absolutely. thing because it was just that good. That's so, an excellent film. Yeah, if you have not seen Inception and, oh, and, and not to, I don't want to, yeah, please definitely watch it. Not to give too many spoilers away if you haven't not seen it because these play a very significant part in the actual movie. Uh, but these are just the ability uh, to know: Are you in a dream? Are you not in a dream? And I'll, and I'll leave it at that. And, yeah, that's and, a good way and, of explaining. And, yeah, this right here is is how they determine. If they are or are not, and by the way, that this thing just ended, then we're we're good. Mm -hmm. If it was going to keep spinning, spinning the whole movie, we're stuck. The whole video, we're we're within a dream, within a dream, oh. possibly with another dream. Within another, yeah, we don't even know how many we, levels. We don't know. There's I mean, so many levels. Stuff's going to start like floating sideways, and it's just going to be. It's really going to pull badass. a Doctor Strange, even though Inception did it first. I know, I know. I mean, it looks it looks really cool. It does. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm not no. knocking it at all. No. It looks it, super cool. I'm like I'm really hoping it kind of is Marvel meets oh, yeah. Inception. Oh, absolutely. And then I'm that's what it's looking like from the trailer. Times. Yeah. I cannot wait. Cannot I know, wait. I know. I know. Oh, Benedict, you bastard. I know. I did it again. So this was a really cool one. And again, it's something that was collected something that can be displayed it comes with a cool tin but these just sitting up anybody who's seen the movie they mm -hmm. come over and they're checking out your collection and they're looking up on your bookshelf or whatever it is and they see this they're like they'll instantly know, know what that oh, is they instantly know. know what it is <laughs> okay guys next item in here is black adam no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> no it's actually really really cool yeah i love it uh, i love the pouch but inside of the pouch yes i'm late i'm late oh yes oh oh is a real watch yes so this is an alice in wonderland like little replica pocket watch that we had made 
these are really cool. I, I, I love pocket watches. I actually have quite a few of them. Uh, going back to my father gave me when I was younger my uh, my grandfather's pocket watch and ever since then was kind of enamored. My boys are really excited. They got these. They came to me. They're like, Dad, do you, have, do you have any more of those? We got friends at school. And I mean, they're like wearing mm -hmm. them today. Like they kind of look like Flava Flav, like on the mini version. You yeah, know what I mean? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and so they're That's wearing awesome. them. So their friends are like, ah, how do we get some of those? So really cool. And 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 they're they're working. It isn't they are just, working. It isn't yeah. just a prop. It's an actual watch. So. Um, we wanted to do something Alice in Wonderland. Obviously, there's so many different directions to go. Um, we, you know, we didn't know where we're gonna try to go Burton style. Or we're gonna try to go old, like old, old style, like original style with the actual books, mm -hmm. uh, which is what that art is from. We, did, yeah, there's so many different directions that we that we thought about going, and the watch just felt great. And also, a lot of people, and I said this here in the in the description in the um, in the spoiler sheet is I made a little reference to Matrix, because mm -hmm. the night before we actually had the meeting where we were talking about all this, I watched The Matrix, which I probably watch like three times a month. It's just my like go-to <laughs> movie. Um, and remember the scene where, where Neo gets visited and they said, you know, uh, follow the white rabbit, mm -hmm. and then the, the chick has a white rabbit tattoo on, mm -hmm. and so that's that's kind of where the white rabbit came in, and, and that's what we ended up going with. So, um, but very cool. A legitimate pocket watch. It's a legit pocket watch, yeah. yeah. And just something that's different, again, different, unique. Yeah. Uh, something that's, that's fun that you can you can put up. I mean, there are people who are carrying it, which I think is super cool. Oh, yeah. This is uh, a cool display piece, though, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. And then, obviously, the, the people are already talking about what they're going to give people in, for Christmas in these bags, mm -hmm. which are... They, they, they're, uh, they're pretty cool. The yeah, bag's the, pretty neat. The bag's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was the Alice in Wonderland pocket watch. Okay guys, so this is where the box starts getting a little bit stranger, <laughs> and this is really, really cool. Yes. So, what we have here is a bat. Yes. Not just any bat. No, no, it's a Demogorgon killer. Ugh. And it's mini, but badass. <laughs> it's so badass. You can do some damage with this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, definitely weapon-esque. And, and not only is it a mini bat, it's, uh, <laughs> it's got a little, little... A little bit of a twist to it, of course. A little bit of a realistic twist to it. So what he's doing right now is he's putting together the ultimate weapon yes. that the uh, amazing kids in Stranger Things ended up using. I love it. So this is boyfriend Steve, Steve, right? Yeah. And one of my favorite scenes. I actually put it in the in the in the uh, spoiler. I, I I write uh, a lot of this. So and I, and, I, and, awesome, I, and I talk, I know I talked about the bat flip mm -hmm. and and everyone that was here at the time was like what what are you talking about bat flip I'm like you guys we got to watch it mm -hmm. I mean he does the ultimate bat, bat flip. flip that's like I'm ready to kick some ass He's down to kick yeah. major ass and, and with the bat with nails in it and this, <laughs> this crazy ass like eight, yeah. I oh, it's just awesome awesome yeah. awesome so this was really fun because again just getting this, I mean, these are these are bats that we had made we had them stained we had them laser engraved and we had uh, all the holes put in we didn't want to just give a bat because mm -hmm. that wouldn't make sense, and and we didn't want to do plastic fake nails. We wanted it to have a, a real like replica esque feel to it. So um, we went through and had all of the uh, the holes drilled for the nails. My hands are gonna get a little bit greasy. Funny, initially watching people put them in, they're kind of putting them in like this, and you want to make sure that you're going halfway through with this thing because mm -hmm. when you go halfway through, is when this bat starts getting real. Mm -hmm. Uh, because it just it gives it really the feel. I mean, we we, we really worked to, with with uh, the makers to make sure that this thing had the the actual look <laughs> to it. It's a mini death weapon. It is a mini death That's weapon. That's what right? it is. Yeah, and and again, the, the idea I'll find it, you'll probably be able to see this pretty well. Yeah, you can The idea it. is that this thing would be able to display. Like you can kind of set it so that you can actually it shows Demogorgon Killer, uh, and then you have the ability to to put it up and just kind of adjust it a little bit so it fits right where wherever yeah. you're gonna set it. Um, but I mean, come on! How badass is it's this? It's really cool. Right? I mean, even though it's a mini bat, it's like still slightly intimidating. Like, yeah, I know. you could you could mess somebody up with this. Yeah, a demo gorgon. Yeah, totally, totally. It's, it's super cool. I just love that the actual uh, Stranger Things like logo, the font is used on yes. here, and it's yeah. actually burned into it. So yeah. it's really, really cool. Total custom piece that we had made specifically for you, Bammers out there, because we wanted to do something. Stranger Things, there's there's so many little things that you can mm -hmm. you can do. I mean, we had all kinds of crazy ideas from balls of of, of uh, C9 bulbs to I mean, there's so many things that were that were tossed around that would be very Stranger Things esque. Mm -hmm. the, but ultimately, the Demogorgon, the you know what I mean? You got this monster, mm -hmm. and you have the, the 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 scene where they're like getting ready. It, it's go time, and that scene always stuck out to us, and we were trying to find different things within that. 
that we thought would be something that was cool, something that was collectible, something that you wouldn't get, you wouldn't, you're not going to be able to go anywhere and buy this. No, 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 no. You know what I mean? This isn't something that you go, oh, cool, I'll go on whatever website and, and, and pick this up. You won't. You only get it if you got it in the BAM box. And it's something that anybody who has seen Stranger Things, you have this thing out. Again, uh, one of the, the criteria that we're, we're always trying to talk about when we're looking at different items is conversation starters. Mm -hmm. You and I both oh, have big collections. We love having people over and people are like, hey, where'd you get that print from? Or hey, wh what's that? If anyone has seen Stranger Things and they see this thing out, mm -hmm. I mean, they're gonna pick it up. They're gonna be like, oh, it's real. Yep. And that's, that's something that's fun for us because it goes beyond just getting a really cool piece to mm -hmm. being able to kind of um, display fandom and, and get conversation started and be able to talk about the things that we love. So. Uh, which we're all passionate about here. So the the Demogorgon, the Demogorgon killer, and we Whoa. definitely love Stranger Things. And yes. To totally tie into yes. Stranger Things theme is something that's really, really awesome. I'm oh. super stoked about it, but I'm also kind of bummed for one reason because I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I don't want to ruin it. I so know. here it is, guys. This is uh, this is one of the coolest pieces ever. <laughs> so if you don't know what this is, this is of course from Stranger Things as yep. well, and. It's Dustin's hat. This is our buddy Gaten. Gaten, and it's perfect. It but is. Look at that. Signed. Signed. So oh. that's the cool part. Yes. I mean, the hat's really, really yes. cool. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally an '80s hat would rock yep. it, but that signature on there as well. Yeah. He signed them. He signed them. This, mm -hmm. this is a really great story behind this one. So uh, there are a couple different things to, to point out. Number one, uh, Chris is a guy who uh, is another one of the owners here at Bambox. Um, he, I mean, he was stuck on the fact that we looked at a lot of different replica hats. Mm -hmm. They all have either a red or blue button. But in the TV show, mm -hmm. Gaten's hat has a white, white button. Mm -hmm. And and Chris was not going to let it go. He's like, if we're, if we're giving this to people, it has got to be an actual replica. We looked far and wide to try to find the material that, that goes around the outside of, the, of that hat that they yeah. had. And, and it just something that you cannot find anymore. So we got as close as we possibly could. We had these cats custom made with the white button. And we did a signing with Gaten, who plays Dustin in Stranger Things. Uh, it, it It's incredible. I'm actually going to be posting some pictures. Uh, probably uh, as, as you're watching this, uh, whether you're, uh, we're going to be posting pictures on our, on our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. So at the Bandbox, you want to make sure that you follow us on all that. Uh, you, you, you'll, you'll see some of the pictures. We have a great one of Gaten mm -hmm. in a, a sea of these hats that, that, that is <laughs> a sign, and you just see his face popping up. Uh -huh. You guys, this is one of the most genuine celebrities that I've ever, 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 ever talked to. He, we did the signing in New York City. I wasn't able to go, so we had some of our team from New York City that was able to get out there. I had a confliction, I couldn't get out there. He, I, I wish I could have got that. He did a special one for me because I couldn't make it where he did a self-portrait on on the, uh, on the front of the hat, mm -hmm. which is pretty fun, and, and then signed it. Uh, you guys, this, 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 this guy, is, this kid is just so incredible. Mm -hmm. And this is this is the signature of a kid. Yeah. And that's what's so awesome yeah. about it. Right? I mean, it, it, to me, it's like it's like it's like you get you get Chunk's signature mm -hmm. on something from the Goonies when he's like actually Chunk in yeah. the Goonies. That, that's you know that's what I mean. Perfect comparison. Yeah. yeah. Because it's it, it is a little kid's mm -hmm. or uh, not a little kid. I mean, I, I don't I don't know how actually how old he is. I think he's about like twelve. Twelve. Yeah. And, but it, I mean, the cursive G and everything like it's just so brilliant. So mm -hmm. this was really fun. Gaten was incredible. This we are the first big signing that he's done. Now he's obviously signed some autographs and that kind of stuff out on the street. But as far as actually signing mm -hmm. a lot of pieces. He had never done it before, and he was so thankful. He was so grateful. He couldn't believe all the fans. If you guys don't follow him on Instagram, you need to. I don't know if you see what he's, what great, he's, he's great, man. Like incredible on he's Instagram. So the, awesome. The new thing that he's doing is um, everybody that he that he takes a he'll, if someone comes up and say, "Can I get my picture with you?" Mm -hmm. He'll only do it on their phone. Yeah. On on their Instagram or, or Twitter account or Snapchat, and he's so so that people can see like he really appreciates yeah. fans so 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 much. Um, and when he when we showed him the hats, so you, you, obviously when we're when we're doing a lot of these signings and we're dealing with uh, uh, different people, all these guys have handlers, they have agents that they're that they we're dealing with as well before we actually can even get to them. They're incredible gatekeepers, and these guys need them. Um, and this is obviously a younger a younger kid who's never done a signing, so it's kind of like and this mm -hmm. is a, this is a lot of pieces that he did, oh, yeah. and and for him to come through, it's trying to work out all the logistics. You know, we said uh, we're going to do photos, we're going to do that. We said no, we want to make the hat. 
that he wears because it's that is as iconic as it gets. Oh, when yeah. you think of it's like it's, it's like Chunk's Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It, it's a thing that you will <laughs> always think about with him. And mm. so when he saw the hats, he was so excited. He couldn't believe it. And he noticed the white button. Did he? Yeah. Oh yeah. Because right. because if you look anywhere, it's and again I, now I got the Chris is all in my head. So <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm all upset you about the red and the blue white button. button. Oh yeah, I, I love it, man. He's stuck to it, and that's what's great about Chris. So um, yeah. So what what an awesome collector's piece for those who 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 got this. We did a little bit better than one in four uh, did it, and all of our international subscribers also got these uh, sent to them. Speak it up, firm mm -hmm. segue. I'm segue myself. Oh, yeah. There there was a lot of. Uh, problems that we had last month with our international shipping it, and I, I did a, a Facebook live chat about it talked with a lot of international folks the hardest part about it was that we worked so hard here to try to get this new system down we've been working for months on it and to see it just crash and burn mm -hmm. it's very difficult depending on somebody else to do their job while we do our job we have now switched over to DHL and I am really happy to announce that uh, I mean, the speed with which the boxes are getting international uh, is, is two and three day right now, nice. which is just absolutely insane from, from us being able to ship it out to them picking it up and delivering it to you guys. So we're keeping an eye on that, making sure that that continues to be the case. But I want you guys to hear that's one of the other things that we heard in the feedback. Mm -hmm. um, we, we really worked hard to make a change and, and just went, I mean, we were vetting so many different shipping companies they're all in here and they all have all the answers and everything like that uh, we did some trial runs with them and we're it right off the bat and, and DHL was getting stuff I mean they were getting stuff in Germany in, in, in two days in, in in Europe in two days and in, in Canada next day uh, so really excited for you guys that, that that this hopefully this piece is now picked up so that we can get that and everybody uh, overseas uh, was able to get that so what what we did I'm gonna I'm going to answer this because I see this question uh, a lot there's no way, Adam, that you gave more hat, you gave hats to everyone overseas and somehow that opened it up for the people domestically to have better odds. That was one of the big questions that, that people asked. Uh, that, it, it's true. It's absolutely true. What happened was we did a signing for uh, uh, um, a lot of these hats and we had taken part of that signing uh, and we were going to take that part and we were going to use those for different boxes. Um, and some different ideas that we had in the future that would be something kind of outside of Bambox, but yet Bambox con related, etc. What I did is I decided to, to, to forego that and we pulled all of these hats in. So that, that is how we were able to not only give every international subscriber a hat, but also better the odds for the domestic subscribers is because of all the hats that were initially done, only part of those were going to get released to be able to do the one and four. And I went ahead and just put them all in so that, that hopefully people were able to get it. So. Hopefully that answers that question. That one came up a lot this month. Oh yeah, it definitely did. And uh, yeah, guys, if you look on the inside here, yep. bam, authentic. So in the future, uh, we what we have, we're gonna have, we have different signings that are coming up. So anything that you see that uh, so with some of the signings that we have, if it is a celebrity autograph that we have done, mm -hmm. if it is a celebrity autograph that we have done, and you do not see that bam exclusive, uh, and, and that is a tamper-proof seal on there that we have specially made for us. Uh, actually, even the coating and everything on it, nobody else can get that. We, we, we bought the rights to, 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 to it. We take it very seriously. If you do not see that sticker, run. It, it's not us. It's not real. Uh, and, and that is the way that you will be able to tell for everything moving forward. Cool. All right, guys. So this is a, another first for Bambox. Yep. This is the first Bambox exclusive comic book. Yes. Yeah. This uh, is so fun. This variant, I yeah. should say, uh, for Grimm. So yes. It is grim. It is from Dynamite. Yep. So it's definitely something you've heard of. Yep. Dynamite Comics. Yep. And yeah, this is the Bambox variant cover, and it's colorful. It is so awesome. <laughs> the art, when the art was coming through, this is obviously grim from uh, the, uh, the NBC show, mm -hmm. um, and this is volume two, issue number one. Uh, and so we got uh, one of the variant covers for it, and it's an exclusive cover to Bam. You see the Bam up there, uh, and and just such a cool uh, like j I love the artwork. Yeah, it's on really it. really cool. It is it is incredible. Um, I am so excited that we are working with Dynamite now to be able to put exclusive comic books that you're only going to be able to get in the band box. This is so awesome. And not only do we get this, they also allowed us to do a an actual variant of a variant. Uh, variant? <laughs> is that a right? variant of a variant? Yeah. What is that? 
Uh, and so they did the black and white version for us. So this is ex extremely limited. Um, the, the, the amount of these that, that went out is, uh, is under 500. There's not, there's not very many of them. So uh, there's a, 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 everyone got one of these unless you got one of the one of cards and you got one of the, the black and white ones and it just it looks so cool so man. cool right yeah cool cover i've never actually read anything grim so right. i mean might as well check it out i know now's the time to do it jump so, on board guys yep, absolutely so dynamite. excited to be working with dynamite excited to be working with dynamic forces mm -hmm. these guys are just absolutely incredible and this is uh there's a lot of good stuff coming from this okay guys and so now it's time for prince da -da -da. exclusive art prints from yep. bambox so yep. here we go the first one here Yes, it's pretty. It's pretty awesome, and it's also quite sad. It time. is, man. It's like it, it hits deep. And it dude. hits deep. So, yeah. as most of you know, Gene Wilder passed away recently. Yep. And um, I know a lot of you out there, a lot of us nerds, grew up watching mm -hmm. him in a ton of different films. Yeah. He played a perfect Willy Wonka. He did. And honestly, I was watching that as a kid all the time, enjoying his performance because he was brilliant. And even Absolutely. to this day, you watch it mm -hmm. and you realize how maniacal and crazy and magical he was. He was, man. So Gene Wilder, total badass, and yeah. it's, it's really sad he passed Rest away, peace, but there's an exclusive print we did this month. Yeah, we had another print lined up, and uh, when he passed away, it hit us all really hard. Obviously, we had we had teased Willy Wonka, we had, we had some different other things that were lined up. Uh, and then when he passed, man, it just kind of rocked us all the core. And you know, we, we were talking about it. There's there's so many movies that he was in that I just Dude, I forgot uh, how much like mm -hmm. how of of, my, of like our childhood was was you know from Blazing Saddles to um, Young Frankenstein, uh, Young Frankenstein mm -hmm. Hear No Evil, See No Dude, Evil, uh, Willy Wonka. I could just mm -hmm. he just was so incredible in the different roles that he took on young frankenstein being just Amazing. i mean just on, so good another level so it we we we, we switched gears um we've been talking to another artist that we were going to use in the future named mindy wheeler she's incredible an incredible incredible artist again all of her details will be will be here wherever you're watching this is going to be below or over at um, uh, behind the box TV, it'll also be there because you want to check out her stuff. Her prints are absolutely incredible. She's done stuff for, for uh, I can't, can't spoil some of the stuff that has she has coming up. She has some really <laughs> cool stuff that's 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 coming up with some pretty big time companies. Talk to her and Mindy, huge fan, hit the same chord with her and her heart, and she said, I would love to do. A tribute piece, mm -hmm. and so we said, absolutely, we're gonna we're gonna kind of stop what we had going, uh, and we're we're gonna shift gears, and we we came up with this tribute piece. She came up with this tribute piece, which I think she did so incredibly well. She wanted it to be not just a portrait of him, mm -hmm. and not even necessarily him. You know, we said, do we do Young Frankenstein? Do we do Blazing Saddles? And she said, can I do Willy Wonka? Obviously, it's one of the, the, the roles that he's most well known for, but it also is that that pure imagination, which is what she named it. It just it was the thing that was magical and maniacal mm -hmm. that we all fell in love with when we first saw the movie, and uh, and so when she when she actually sent over the very first copy of this, I about lost it. I forgot. Yep. I forgot how many movies mm -hmm. Richard Pryor and Gene Wilder did together. Oh, a ton of them. A ton of movies. And I went back and I, and so I'm, I'm on this like, like this. this Gene Wilder this, kick. Oh, big time. I'm just going back and watching all these movies and remembering as a kid how much I loved them. And so to have Gene in there going, or to have Richard Pryor in there like looking at Gene mm -hmm. and then and then him pulling God's finger mm -hmm. with the Oompa Loompas <laughs> and, and, and that pose, that that's the, you know, the uh, kind of the same pose from that meme that's going around, you oh, know, yeah. to tell me. It, it just, I just feel like she captured the, the, the humor mm -hmm. and I think she did it tastefully and did it well and how, you know, th this idea that she had a, of Richard being like, hey, come on, come on. And he's like, just one last joke, one last joke. Mm -hmm. God's reaching out and I'm going to pull Close God's finger. finger. <laughs> and, and, I, and I loved it. Mm -hmm. I loved that she did that because I felt like it really captured him mm -hmm. the, the the humor. So many people know him just from Willy Wonka, which oh, yeah. is an incredible movie. And, and, and I mean, hands down, incredible movie. But you you don't realize just how funny he is in Willy Wonka. Go if you go look at Blazing, Blazing Saddles, Saddles is hilarious. You know, I mean, just, man. The, the guy was a, mm -hmm. a, a comedic genius. Mm -hmm. 
And so she wanted to capture that, and I, I just think that she'd really tried to put so many different things in, uh, and it just did a beautiful job. And oh, so that's really cool. wanted to make sure that we were able to get 1933 to 2016. Rest in peace, Gene Wilder. Uh, really awesome to be able to get that tribute piece in mm -hmm. the box this month. Okay, guys, and we had one more print this month. We did, yep. And this is from Mr. Jonathan Adrian. What and a, we did oh, Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. This guy's incredible. This is so cool. Right. So right away, Willy Wonka. It's, it's trippy, of course. Yes. This is trippy as well. It's yes. very, they're both very strange. strange. Yep. That's totally what it is. <laughs> lots of color, lots of motion. It, it's just strange. Yeah. And I love the color work on this piece yeah, so absolutely. much. He is incredible. I saw a piece that he did, I don't even know how long ago it's been, of Doctor Strange mm -hmm. um, that was just his style. And the, the 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 nuances, the the small little things that you that you don't notice unless you really take a look at it, that his his use of of uh, lines mm -hmm. and his coloring were the three things that stuck out to me that I just went, this is just different. There's Very something different. about it that grabbed me, and so when we approached him a while back, knowing that Doctor Strange was going to be in the future, it was like you're the guy. You're, you're you you got it. You got to do it. Oh yeah. And so um, even with with the incredible Gene Wilder piece that we had, I wanted to make sure that Strange was still going to be in the box, right? And so we we did the the regular print, mm -hmm. uh, which is really really great. You'll see there the third eye is open in the regular print, uh, where he is meditating. He's being lifted off. Again, just like the, the the wax on the. I know. Skull, I, I like, love that. And it's just and the little so, symbols all over the place. Little symbols all over the place. This is all him, man. It's just and this is all hand painted. Like we have the original, That's crazy. Uh, which is awesome. You know, we'll, we'll put up in the office when we get the originals of these in, which is really fun. But to see the, the colors even so much more vibrant, it's it's just, he, the guy's just incredible, mm -hmm. incredible, incredible. So then we had the variant, uh, which was really awesome. So we closed the third eye, opened his eyes. Again, a subtle change. He wanted to make sure that it was subtle, mm -hmm. but yet in, it, it, it was able to encapsulate what Do Doctor Strange. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he's got the third eye, he's meditating, he's seeing, and now all of a sudden it's just like, hey, this, it just got real. Mm -hmm. Now, third eye's closed, he's, it, he's now awake. in, he's, his eyes are open, and this was numbered down to 250. Uh, so just a really cool, subtle variant change, but something that we thought was really awesome that Jonathan did an incredible, incredible job on, and uh, just excited to be able to have this in the oh, box. So well. cool. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Cool. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Yes. Um, we really appreciate it. If you guys have any questions or comments, please please hit us up. Yeah, We're absolutely. totally open to this. We want to yeah. chit chat and make sure you're getting a product that you want to enjoy because we enjoy yeah. these items as well. 100%. Thank you guys for everyone oh, yeah. who's, who's subscribed. We really hope that you enjoyed the Strange Box. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, Strange was great and all. But October's coming up here, <laughs> and I'm a huge yes. horror guy. So next month we are doing watching. Watching. And watching's gonna be pretty badass. It honestly. is going to be pretty badass. Pretty badass. And you actually have a secret. And he he wants to spill the beans. He wants to spill the beans I'm, about I'm, the secret. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I, I, I've kind of hinted at it and teased it, but you are now hearing it here for the first time, folks. Mm -hmm. There is going to be not one, not two but three autographed items in the watching box. Oh yes. Three autographed items. And I've, and I've said it uh, in, in, in the, the live uh, chat that I did where I kind of announced the watching box. We did a signing with two different celebrities mm -hmm. from horror movies who, if you're looking at all of the pictures and imagery and the teaser that we're doing, they're not in there. These guys are completely completely, completely secret. Mm -hmm. And by guys, I do not mean male. I, I, somebody's gonna go, oh, he said guys. He said guys. No, 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 no. Just, it, it means a group. It guys. Means a hey group. guys. Yeah. Hey guys. Hey. Yeah. That's, that's all it means. That, that's all it means. <laughs> it, you're going to get this one or you're going to get this one. Mm -hmm. Then, there is going to be two other signatures besides that mm -hmm. in the watching box. So you guys don't want to miss it. it it's it, the, the box is gonna be if, if you're a fan of horror, get this box. Get this box. That's that's all I have get to say. Get the box. Yep. That's all I do is watch horror movies. <laughs> yeah. I'm super, you're stoked, super stoked to get yeah. the box. Yes. And I'm just gonna run away with it because it's, <laughs> it's full of awesomeness. Yeah. So. It, it, it's pretty. We just got done with another part of one of the signings today. I gotta be really careful because I slip, man. Everyone's mm. on me right Don't now because I I keep giving too much away. But um, that that particular person 
uh, is very excited to be in the box and and sent me a you know I can't always get to all these signings. We have a team of uh, of guys who who do this with a lot of celebrities and 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 they're part of our team and so I usually send them um, if I can't be there uh, and this one I couldn't be, but they uh, he sent me a video this this um, uh, the guy who did the signing who facilitated the signing he sent me the video of this person and this person. Uh, what they said in the video was uh, was pretty hilarious. So it's gonna be exciting. Mm -hmm. Like it's just crazy. It's strange. Just look out for you. It's for watching. You it's it's yeah. watching. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna be creepy. Yep. It's gonna be really really good. It's gonna be so super creepy. That's a strange box. Yeah. We man. got the watching box coming. Thank you guys so much. You Thank were you. all incredible. Really, honestly, I I know that you guys feel that we're doing this for you, and uh, it's awesome to hear that you recognize that. So. Yeah, guys, leave us some feedback, and uh, as always, keep collecting.